What's up foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. For today's recipe, what we're gonna be making, you guys have been requesting this for a while and I finally got around to making it. So without wasting any more of your time, let's make you some chicken dum biryani. Alright guys, so just like the uh, vegetable dum biryani we made, we're also gonna make one pan recipe. So the first thing I've done is I've caramelized some onions and um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, some caramelized onion. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and marinate our chicken. I have taken some halal chicken. Um, I have gotten them uh, cut in curry pieces. Uh, if you go to your butcher shop, they would be able to um, know what curry pieces are. Now, with the chicken, what I've done is I've used ample amount of garlic paste. Now, with the garlic paste, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add ample amount of yogurt. And I'm not using sour yogurt, I'm just using the regular yogurt, non-sour yogurt. Now with yogurt, what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna go ahead and add dhania powder. With dhania powder, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of haldi powder. We're also gonna add some red chili powder. Now, I'm not making the chicken biryani too spicy, um, so I'm not gonna add too much chili powder. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and add salt to taste. After adding salt to taste, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some fresh onions to it. Um, I've just taken onions and cut them in big slices, and then after that, what I'm gonna do, it's with onions, I'm gonna add some green chilies, roughly chopped green chilies, um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna add some of the caramelized onions. All right guys, after we get everything mixed in, what we're gonna do is we are going ahead and adding our caramelized onion. With caramelized onion, we're gonna go ahead and add some mint leaf. Uh, if you have fresh mint leaf, go ahead and find uh, use the fresh mint leaf. If you don't have fresh mint leaf, you can use uh, uh, the mint paste as well. Now the reason for adding caramelized onion, it's because um, when you when you cook it, you don't have to use the when you're giving the dum to the to the biryani. When you're using caramelized onion, you don't have to um, use coal in it. Uh, by using the caramelized onion, it would give you that uh, that charcoaly taste uh, um, already when you're using the food. All right, guys. So in the same pan, as you can see, I took out rest of the the caramelized onion, and in the same pan. I've added some ghee to it, and once the ghee is warm, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our marinated chicken in there, and we're gonna cook it until uh, until the chicken is uh, is cooked. So give it about 10 to 15 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and cook that in here. All right, guys. So once our chicken is cooked a little bit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of biryani masala. Um, and with biryani masala, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more mint leaf, just a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna use some jeera powder, roasted jeera powder. Jeera powder is cumin seeds. So just a little bit of roasted jeera powder. And with that, I'm gonna add a little bit of buttermilk to it. Um, and then we're gonna cover it up and let it cook for another five minutes or so. All right guys, so once your chicken is cooked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our rice to it. And we're gonna make sure that we break down the rice and um, make sure that we don't add a lot of lumps to it. Now, if you wanna know how I cook my rice for biryani, go ahead and check out my uh, video for vegetable dum biryani and you will see how I make my uh, make my rice. Guys, okay, so once you have your uh, chicken covered with the rice, like a good layer of rice like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of saffron water so that way you get that yellow color of the, of the biryani. And you also get a very nice aroma. Saffron gives you a very, very, very nice aroma when you're adding uh, when you're adding the saffron to the food. Um, has a very nice aroma, a very nice flavor to it. Now, after adding the saffron, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of mint leaf just to get the flavor on top. We're also gonna go ahead and add a little bit of caramelized onions 
And with caramelized onion, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add, just sprinkle a little bit of uh, biryani masala on top of it. So just sprinkling just a little bit of uh, biryani masala. And then we're gonna go ahead and cover this up to give it a dam. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook it on a slow heat for about 15 minutes. All right guys, so this is how we wanna cover it up with, uh, with flour. Uh, it's just kneaded dough. Um, you want to make sure you cover it up like that. The reason for that is when we talk about dum biryani, dum means uh, uh, cooking it under pressure. Now, if you don't have flour, or if you're not able to get a hold of your flour, or if you don't know how to knead the dough, what you can do is you can also use um, you can also use foil as well. So just go ahead and use foil, wrap it up all around, and you can also go ahead and give a dum like that as well. All right, guys. So it's been about 15-20 minutes since we've been giving it a dum. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open this up as you can see I have two uh, two biryanis going at the same time I have a chicken biryani going and veggie biryani going as well so let me open them up and then we'll go ahead and get it served alright guys so as you can see our biryani has been cooked completely so all we're gonna do is just go ahead and, uh, and get that out and we're gonna go ahead and serve the biryani As you can see, our chicken is cooked completely. It's already separating from the from the bones. So that's how you know that your chicken is completely cooked. All right, guys. So as you know, the biryani is done. This is how you want your chicken biryani to look like. So as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. I will see you soon.